They responded back to me. We got on the phone. We talked for about 15 minutes. It was probably one of the best phone conversations that I've had because I actually got to talk to an actual psychologist. What's up fam, welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. This is Phil's Guide to Society. This channel is dedicated to psychology, wellness, and clinical psychology graduate school. All right, so today the question is, should you go for a PsyD or a PhD? Now, again, this is a great, great, great question. It really does depend on the individual. I have to always start out by saying that because there's a lot of different factors that are involved. When choosing the right school, for you there's things like cost right because we know that phd usually does come with a stipend a little bit and most people that graduate from a phd have less student loan debt but with psyds they tend to be a little bit shorter you can go into a little bit more of the clinical practice whereas phds are a little bit more focused on the research as well so here's the thing honestly at the end of the day i've mentioned this before a lot of other videos will kind of mention this as well is that it really doesn't matter unless you are on the two extremes. If you really just want to do research and you definitely want to be a faculty member and work in a doctoral program, then getting a PhD might be one of the best things for you. If you just want to do clinical practice and you want to do psychotherapy, then that might also be something that you should look into for a PsyD. Now, here's the thing though, if you just want to do therapy, you'll be able to become a therapist in less time and you'll have way less student loan debt. So that is something to think about because you shouldn't just pick the psychologist just to do therapy. Hopefully there's some other things about being a psychologist that you wanna do, whether that's psychological assessments, whether that's diagnosing different mental health disorders, uh, just be aware of that, that with the time that it takes to be a psychologist and also the student loan debt that it does kind of bring on as well, is that sometimes it, wait, it may not be worth it to just become a psychologist just to do therapy, all right? So again, I don't wanna deter anyone from becoming a psychologist, but I do want people to be aware of the different pros and cons about either choosing a psychology degree, whether it's a PsyD degree or a PhD. Like I mentioned before, it depends on the individual, it depends on what you wanna do in terms of your end goal of becoming a psychologist and, and what you want your career to look like. And one of the best ways to kind of figure that out is to actually see if you can find a psychologist in your area. Go on the phone with them and talk to them. Now, I don't think I've actually mentioned this before, but when I was trying to figure out whether or not I wanted to go into clinical psychology school, I was actually able to get in contact with a local psychologist in the area. I pretty much just emailed them. I said, hey, can I just spend a couple minutes just asking you some questions, some general questions about the clinical psychology field. They responded back to me. We got on the phone. We talked for about 15 minutes. It was probably one of the best phone conversations that I've had because I actually got to talk to an actual psychologist. And he was able to tell me about his program. He was able to tell me about why he went into the field in the first place. He was able to tell me about some of the things that he did in his regular day to day. I mean, he was actually able to actually give me so much clarity about what the psychology field was going to be all about. And in fact, he was a PsyD. And so it, it, he kind of aligned with some of the things that I wanted to do in my future. And so I think that's probably one of the best ways to figure out whether a PsyD or a PhD is going to be for you is actually talking to someone who's in that field, who's in the field that you might be actually interested in going into. And so if you wanna go, if you're thinking about PhD, find a clinical psychologist PhD person that may be willing to talk to you. If you're interested in the PsyD, find someone that's also interested in the PsyD that may be willing to talk to you. That way you can pick their brain, you can ask them a number of different questions. And most of the times, most psychologists in the area, if it's only for like a five minute phone call or 10 minute phone call, most of them would be willing to give you their time, all right? So that really does go a long ways. It went a long ways for me personally. I truly, truly appreciate that. And so if you're still trying to figure out, again, whether or not to do the PhD or the PsyD, at the end of the day, if you're kind of in between either or, it probably doesn't really matter. As long as you go into the program that best fits you, that's probably what's most important. 
But if money is definitely something that you're thinking about in terms of the cost and the debt, definitely think about potentially going into a PhD program or going to a PsyD program that has other ways of helping their students financially. There are some PsyD programs that may not give a stipend, but they may give other opportunities for whether it's students that can actually work as research assistants or teacher's assistants or work for the program and get some type of, whether it's scholarship or diversity money, there's, there's other ways to kind of help buffer you in terms of just PsyD programs and paying for it financially through different things. And so there's a number of different options out there. Just do your research on each school and try and find a psychologist that you can talk to on the phone and get some advice from. So hopefully that this video kind of helps within that area, kind of clarifies some things. At the end of the day, the PhD has been around for a lot longer. They, they do tend to have a little bit of a higher salary and they do tend to give stipends within their program, but they tend to be a lot longer than a PsyD program. And so just weighing out the pros and cons of each type of program will hopefully help you to make that decision, especially with the PsyD being a little bit more about clinical practice, kind of following a little bit more of the medical model and being more treatment-based for their patients, putting psychology into practice rather than more of a research model or a clinical scientist model, uh, depending on where you go on both sides might be something that really pushes you to make the decision on whether or not you want to pick a PhD or a PsyD program. All right. So with that, guys, if you guys have any questions, definitely put it down in the comment section below. If you have not already, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video.